Please do not ask me why I bought this. I cannot be the only one with a weird obsession for lockers. Hello? Microphone. What does that mean? What does that even mean? Ah, I gotta figure out how to use this thing. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, cool. What's going on, guys? It's Lexi. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I feel like I have not picked up the camera in a long time, and I kind of haven't, but I wasn't feeling the best. I'm feeling a lot better now, thank God. Today's video I'm really excited about because I am going to be doing an Amazon gadget slash TikTok review video. I do a lot of these on my channel. It's like one of my favorite videos to film. If you haven't seen my other Amazon reviews and TikTok made me buy it videos, then make sure you check them out. I will leave them linked in the description box below and up here somewhere. All right, you guys, so all of the packs, sorry, I need to get my little warm thingy on, it's cold. Okay, so all the packages that I've been waiting for has finally arrived, and if you guys wanna know something that I've noticed, Amazon does not do three-day shipping anymore. What? They do not do Prime. I mean, it's still Prime, but like, you don't get three-day shipping. That's crazy. <laughs> Oh well. Anyways, even though that's like literally the whole purpose of crime, but whatever. Okay, <clears throat> here are all the packages. Like I said, it's kind of a lot. Do not let me shop at 3 a.m. I do this a lot. And what am I left with? Tons of packages. Half of which I never even know what it is. So anyways, the moral of the story is I was scrolling on TikTok and I scroll on TikTok for a long time. And now I have a lot of packages at my door. I'm not really sure how it happens, but it's magic. These are the coolest gadgets I've found on TikTok. And TikTok literally made me buy it because it looks cool. So let's get right into this video and start opening some packages. Box number one from Amazon. Oh, Amazon, Amazon, Amazon. We have an Astrobot light. So this looks so cool. It is a Cosmo Sphere. It's basically just a cool light. There's seven colors in one, a rechargeable battery, high quality crystal bowl, 300 degree bulb rotation, touch controlled on and off, and USB power supply. Okay, so basically it's just this little astronaut that is kind of like a projector light of space, I'm guessing. Let's just open it up and see what we talk about. Aw, he's so cute. So initially when I ordered the- <gasps> It just turned on when I touched it. Initially when I ordered this, I thought it was gonna be like giant, not giant, but like bigger than this. So this is so small, it's so cute. Oh my gosh, okay, let's turn off the lights. So the touch control is working immediately, which I think is super cool. This would look so nice on a desk and the head rotates so it can like point anywhere. Bro, this is the cutest thing I've ever seen. Okay, let me turn off the lights. This thing is literally blinding me. So you can see what it looks like with no lights on. Okay. All the lights are off. You guys can't see me, but I'm gonna touch his head. Oh my gosh. Dude, this is sick. Look at this spotlight. Green, blue, pink, orange. Dude, I love this guy. I should film the rest of the video like this. This is so cool. This is such a good nightlight and it's the coolest like spotlights, the perfect circle, wow. Immediately, I give this a five out of five stars. This is the coolest thing I've ever seen. This little guy is perfect for my room. You guys know I have a lot of lights going on in my room. I like to create different vibes and turn on different lights. I love lights and this is gonna be such a perfect addition to my already crazy light. I have so many lights in my room. But I love this little guy, he's perfect. It also makes the perfect gift. I think we should name him because he's the cutest. So what do you guys think his name should be? Put it in the comments below. I'm thinking Ashy the Astronaut. Ashy? Let's do Ash the Astronaut. Astro the Astronaut. Astro. Maybe. I don't know. I give this little astronaut guy a five out of five. He's a great friend and a great light. Next, this is an electric candle lighter. You guys know like normal lighters, if they run out of lighter fluid, you have to refill it or buy a new lighter. So this is an electric lighter, meaning it should never run out. You just charge it back up. Yeah, and that's basically all it does, but I thought it was really cool and I wanted to buy it. So let's check it out. It charges with a USB and it's just this lighter. Let's see if it's already charged or do I have to charge it up? Oh, cool. Okay, look, that's literally how you light something. Now, I gotta light something. Got the perfect thing to light. Something else I ordered on Amazon. I saw this and I thought it was awesome. Like I had to order it. It looks freaking cool. This is a candle, but it's not just any candle. It's the coolest candle you've ever seen. It's the coolest candle I've ever seen. <gasps> oh my goodness. Okay, so this is like a bowl of cereal candle, which I, 
Oh my gosh, it smells like Lucky Charms. What in the world? This is basically a Lucky Charms candle and it smells like Lucky Charms and you get the freaking cereal and... Oh, this is, is this not the coolest thing you've ever seen? Bro, subscribe, I love my channel, bro. This is cereal, but it's not really cereal. It's candle cereal. So basically, first of all, it smells so freaking good. I'm not gonna wanna light this candle. I'm gonna have to buy it again because I, I know I'm gonna light it and it's awesome. So it's literally a bowl and you pour the cereal in it. Wow. Oh my gosh. Pulling the cereal into the milk. And then all the marshmallows, which I have to do one by one. So let's just do that real quick. All you rock is in the house tonight. Everybody just have a good time. Bro, I don't know how much I spent on this, but whatever it was, it was freaking worth it because this is so cool. I don't know if you guys know, I love candles. I have candles in my room always lit and it's like my favorite thing. And this is just making me love candles even more because this is so creative and it smells so good and it smells just like Lucky Charms. I literally wish I could make you smell this through the camera. Now it is time for the moment of truth. We have the lighter. Let's light this uh, cereal candle. That's so cool. Happy birthday to you. This is cool. I don't even want to let it burn because it's the coolest candle I've ever seen. So I'm about to blow it out. But I give this a five out of five. It's the coolest thing ever and it smells amazing. Next in my box, I have, oh my gosh, this mic. This is one of those mini microphones that I've always wanted to make TikToks with and buy for myself for like literally no reason. This is what it looks like. So I bought it. We're gonna just test it out, you know? We're gonna see how good this, this ish is. I don't remember how much it was because I ordered it more than a week ago. Let's take a look at this microphone and see if it is worth it. Hey, but let's go to voice memos. So I'm gonna go to voice memos on my iPhone and we're gonna leave a voice memo on here. Uh, test, test, oh, I think it works. So this is a test for this little microphone. It's called microphone, that's it. I've always wanted one of these and um, hopefully it works. Yeah, yeah, I can show you the world. Shining, shimmering. Let's see if this is a good microphone. Bring it back. Uh, test, test, oh, I think it works. So this is a test for this little microphone. It uh, works, great. It's called microphone, that's it. I've always wanted one of these and um, <gasps> yeah, yeah. I thought I blew the microphone out. I can show you the word. Okay, I think it works. I'm gonna say it works. I think we're safe to say that it works. I'm not gonna lie, this would literally be great for like public interviews. Cause you go straight into your phone and you just be like, what is your opinion on this? Bam. And then you can just answer into this little mic. It's perfect. I definitely give this a five out of five. So far, this video is going great. Everything is a five out of five. Let's see what's next. Up next, we have, oh my gosh. Okay, you guys, so I don't know if you guys remember when je uh, jelly fruit was like a big thing. And they were literally sold out everywhere. I went on a whole mission just to find some. And now that they're like less of a trend, you can find them again. So I just came across them and I wanted to try them again. I don't think I've ever tried the actual ones. I kind of just found them at a very small grocery store. But I just want to try it again. So I bought them like literally just to try it again. This is so old though. They were cool and I liked them, but it's been a while. So we're back again with the jelly fruit. Hopefully they're the same as I remember them to be. Please do not splash. I don't think I ever had the real ones. They are way better. What? I mean, way better. I do that five out of five. All right, next up. What is this, man? <gasps> Please do not ask me why I bought this because I it was three in the morning. 
cannot be the only one with a weird obsession for lockers. I have been obsessed with lockers for a long time. When I was a little kid, I used to pretend everything was a freaking locker. I don't know what it was about being in high school and having a locker that I always looked forward to when I was younger, but uh, I have such a nostalgia for lockers. So I freaking bought one, okay? And I saw it on TikTok. Where is the cutter? I'm excited about this, okay? My inner child is screaming. So you might be wondering, Lexi, what in the... What are you gonna do with a locker? I, I literally have no idea, but it can literally look cute on my shelf as a decoration and that's all I need to do. My PE teacher used to have one of these little lockers and so when I saw it on TikTok, it just brought so many memories back for me because I've always wanted one of these. I don't know why. I don't know why. Yes. My plan is to decorate this locker with a bunch of stickers. Ooh. Okay, so this is definitely one of those things that you buy and then when it comes, you're like, why did I buy this? Yeah. Where's my locker key? Okay, so here is my locker, everyone. Bo, I just think this is the cutest thing ever. And I, my literal plan, I saw the TikTok and everything. She decorated it and it was so cool. And then she just, you know, used it as storage. So that's what I'm gonna do. Look about all my secret stuff. It locks with this little lock. I learned to pick these locks like, you know, five. So here's my locker that I bought. Ugh, I really bought it. Why did I? freaking buy this i think i also like when i was younger i just liked many things so i just know i was like this would be perfect for my american girl doll which it probably would be this was such a lexi thing to buy i rate this a three out of five because i don't know what its purpose is but i really but i'm the one that bought it so i'm gonna it here and next up into this big freaking box oh this it, oh it's dark. This is an LED light mirror. It actually is for your car, like this. My friend Genesis actually had one in her car. I saw it and it was so cool. I thought it would be perfect for what I'm filming in my car. You guys know sometimes I film in my car, I do must mukbangs. I was about to say mustangs. <laughs> I do mukbangs and just different videos kind of in my car and it's always dark. So I thought this would be perfect. This is what it is and it just goes on your car. And look how bright that is. Oh my God. And like there's three different light settings. Cool. So it's literally dark and raining outside, but I will, when I have the chance, show you guys what this looks like in the car and give you a good visual, but this is a damn good mirror. I'm gonna love this in my car. So I think I give this a five out of five just because I think it, for what its purpose is, it will be served very well. And next up, I saw this. And I bought it. This is a TiVo Smart Pixel Art Bluetooth speaker. It looks like this. This is another one of those things that I saw and I just immediately was like, that looks so cool. I want to buy it. I'm not exactly entirely sure what its purpose is, but I bought it anyway. Let's open this up and see what it is. So it's basically like a miniature television. Whoa. Okay, comes in this white box. Bro, look at it. It's kind of sick. It's an actual freaking TV. Let's take it out. Cool. So this is what it looks like. It literally looks like a little TV. I'm like 99% sure this is not what I ordered. I ordered this, which is like a little computer version, but it's the same kind of company and the same concept thing, but it's just not exactly what I, I don't think it, I don't think it's what I ordered. I could be wrong. But let's just see, you know, what it's talking about. I was gonna order this because I thought it was cool, but I specifically remember going with the other one. Anyways. How do you turn it on? It looks so cool. Is it an alarm clock? If this was an alarm clock in and of itself, like, that's cool. Oh. Okay, wait, where's my phone? It's a clock! Awesome! That is tight! This is totally gonna be my alarm clock. I hope it, it includes an alarm clock. I feel like it does. Why wouldn't it? I normally tend to go into things without reading any freaking instructions, and I don't know why I do this. Like, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm pretty sure there's an app that goes with this. So let's go ahead and download that. Look, you can change what it's on the screen. That is so cool. Cool! You can literally, like, change the channel, and it'll change what's on the screen. I just said cool. Dude, that's sick. But how do you get it to play music? Hello? Microphone. What does that mean? What does it even mean? Ah, I gotta figure out how to use this thing. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, I'm looking through my Amazon history. So this is um, what I ordered. This is from my ordered history. 
this is what I ended up getting, which I was like debating between the two, but like, how are they gonna send me this? This is not what I ordered. Regardless, how do you work it? Found the app to download, but in my searching, you can actually do a lot on this little thing. It's not only a Bluetooth speaker, but it's like an alarm clock. You can change all the pixels. I'm not sure what the messages is. I have no idea. The app is called Aura Box. I'm guessing that's what this little guy is called. It looks like a little TV to me. We're downloading the app and I think then we'll be able to really use it. This is playing myself back. Guys, this just played me back. Yeah, chill. I kid you not, this just played my audio back. It was me. Man, I wish I knew how to work this thing. Oh, here we go. I think I connected. Hello? Talk, can you talk? You're coming out of this. You're coming out of this. Okay, so I got the speaker to connect, which I did not realize until I just got a phone call. However, when I try to play music, it isn't really working. I'm not really sure. There's still a lot to learn, but it is a cool thing. It'll tell you when you have a phone call and, and whatnot, which I think is cool. It also has the temperature, the alarm clock, Bluetooth speaker. It is actually pretty cool if I could figure out how to use it. It also can um, record me and play it back to myself, which I didn't realize until I just figured that out. But there is a lot to learn about it though, and I am not about to sit here and learn it all right now. I give this a... Oh, I feel like it has so much... I feel like there's so much cool things it can do. I just haven't learned it all, but I feel like it's too hard to learn. Like, why is it so difficult? What are the instructions? I give this a like four out of 10, just because I think it's cool still. If I can figure it out. Let's get into the next thing. All right, so we have another cool little speaker. So this is the next little Bluetooth speaker I got off of Amazon. This one was cool though, okay? Comes with these two cords, and it looks like this. Uh oh. Let's see how good of a speaker it is. We have aux. I literally could just plug this into the aux instead of having to connect to Bluetooth, which I'm actually gonna try because I already have the dongle somewhere around here. So let's see if just plugging to the plugging this into the aux, let's see what that sounds like. I don't think it's gonna sound that great. Look at this thing. I swear, if it packs a punch. Bluetooth mode. <laughs> Do you mean Bluetooth mode, girl? I plugged the aux in. She told me don't worry. That's dumb. Let me not play that. Okay. I don't know if it's the song that's playing or what, but I like this speaker. I give it a five out of five. All right, just because obviously it's not like a Beats pill or like a JBL, like it's just a speaker, but I think it is so cute. And for what it is, it's pretty good. I'm not even gonna lie. I would not have a problem bringing this close to the shower. Now it's not waterproof. Look at all these exposed components, but uh, it's pretty cheap. <laughs> so I would have no problem like bringing this kind of in my bathroom to Play some tunes or, or really anywhere. It's kind of cute too. I love cute little things. I literally love cute little things. Oh, it lights up too. Cool. I didn't even notice. It's kind of like a orangey color. I like it. The stuff I chose for this video has been really spot on and I've not been very disappointed so far. Okay, so the next thing we have is, I don't even know what's in here. The next thing we have are these rainbow bath bombs. I saw these on TikTok and I thought they were really, really cool because they're not just like a regular, you know, bath bomb that explodes and makes pretty colors it's a rainbow and it like stays a rainbow which i think is cool let me try and show you guys what i mean it comes with these three Ooh, it smells good it comes with these three rainbows and basically like what you do is you put the rainbow in and it comes out the bottom and it like swims around so i am definitely gonna have to check this out Hopefully it stays a rainbow. All right, obviously we need to be in a bathtub to even test this out. So let's head over and run a bath. All right, guys, it's time to test out this bath bomb. Yes, I look completely different, but that's not even the point. The point is, I'm really kind of upset because I want to use this bath bomb, but I'm not taking a bath right now, but we still got to see if it's worth it, you know? So let's see what it's talking about. I have a full bath of water. Now let's put the bath bomb in. It's kind of doing like what it's supposed to do. It's working. Oh my gosh, it's really working. That actually looks cool. But 
know. It's actually working. That looks kind of cool. I can't even lie. Now, I don't think it's gonna change the color of the water, but it does look cool. Bro, that looks so cool. It, look, it reminds me of car wash. Car wash is soap. Okay, so my idea of bath bombs is like it changes all the color of the water to like a whole cool color. So whenever a bath bomb doesn't change the color of the water, I kind of get mad, but it is actually changing the color and making it very dark as opposed to just clear water. Okay, Cody, why are you crying, man? Okay, so for the rainbow bath bomb, it kind of does what it's supposed to do, but I don't know, it's a lot less cool in real life. So I give it a three out of five. Okay, let's see what's in here. We have lazy readers. Okay, I saw these on TikTok and basically, you're supposed to be able to read at like a 90 degree angle by just putting these like on your face. So there are these glasses. Oh my gosh, they're huge. They're these humongous glasses. Okay, so these are for the lazy people who can't bend their neck. See, <gasps> whoa, that's, that's freaking weird. I am looking Oh my gosh, here's how it works. Let me show you. Let's just say I'm chilling back here on my phone, right? And I just want to lay back. I don't have to move my head too much. Put on my lazy readers. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Bro, this is so cool. Wow. That's so trippy because like I'm back. Okay, I'm gonna try and show you guys what this looks like. I, it's so cool and it's like perfect quality because it's like just a mirror or like, I mean, yeah, technically it is just like a mirror. So it's like clear. Is it backwards? Is this backwards? No, it's not. That's so trippy. All right, I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like using my iPhone camera so you can kind of see. All right, let's start a video. Hello, we see this, we see this. Now watch what happens when I, when I put you guys in the camera, in the lens. You're immediately looking at the floor. Like, what? That is so cool. So you can literally see how dirty the floor is right now. And like, see, that's my little ugly feet. Oops. These are my little ugly feet that you can see, but you're facing up instead of looking down. So it's kind of trippy. It's cool. I think it's cool. It's kind of pointless because you could just move your head. For that, I have to deduct the star. I give it a four out of five. It's not really practical. I really don't know like why, like would we, like why would you buy this? Almost like you want good posture. You don't want to ever look down ever. I don't know. <laughs> I give it a four out of five. I should really give it a three out of five because I really don't know this purpose when you can move your head. But besides the point. <laughs> Give it a four out of five. This is how I'm looking at y'all. So we're gonna, pop, I'm literally gonna have another one of these because they're actually good. I'm gonna go, with, I'm assuming and hoping that this is pineapple. Okay, next up we have this music Aura projector lamp. This is another one of those kind of projector lamps, except this one is supposed to kind of resemble the northern lights. I hope. As you can see, it's kind of supposed to be like the northern lights. My sister currently has um, a northern lights projector in her room, and I was kind of hoping that this was the exact same one because hers is pretty fire. So let's see if TikTok steered me in the right direction and this is the correct one. I really hope it is because it looks cool. And this one is not like the regular ones that kind of just put the galaxy in the sky or like just colors. It's like supposed to resemble kind of like the northern lights and be cool looking, which I'm really hoping it is. Here it is. It's so small too. Like all of the other ones are kind of ginormous. So let's see what this looks like. I'm really excited. I'm hoping that it looks like the northern lights for real. It comes with a USB-C. Uh, charger import USB-C to USB so I'm gonna go ahead and turn off all the lights and I'm gonna plug this in and we'll see if this looks like it's supposed to look all right you guys so it's all plugged in and I have pretty much all the lights off I'm gonna turn this last light off and then we'll turn it on and see if it's the wrong one <gasps> whoa that looks so cool oh my gosh that is sick I love it, look at all the colors. I'm so happy I got this one. Oh, this is gonna be sick in my room. 
Okay, so the remote actually has tons of different stuff on it. I'm guessing you can do a lot of different things. You can clearly connect music, some kind of Bluetooth to it, and I might... Yeah, you can change the colors, the configurations, wow, white, green. I guess you can do like, okay, let's see, blue and white, red and blue, wait, red and green. Whoa, that's cool. Okay, I'm really liking this. Uh, yeah, let's, let's get back to the spot. All right, so the Northern Lights projector does just that. It projects what kind of looks like the Northern Lights. I think this is so cool. I think this is awesome though. I love it. It looks just like my sister's and I've seen hers like a hundred times So I don't know why I'm acting like it's like the first time I've ever seen it But it honestly is really cool. It's a lot cooler to me than the other ones There's like a skylight version which is kind of like supposed to be like galaxy Which is still cool. I remember when I first saw that one I thought it was sick, but the northern lights it's like such a vibe. I really like it. So five out of five five out of five Whoa! Moving on to the next thing, we have, we're getting close to the end, so I kind of like, and running it, I don't know what to grab, I don't know what to grab. Alright, I bought this. It's a kettle. I have a kettle, and a Keurig. Two Keurigs, actually. And I have hot water, and a stove that boils water, and I still bought a kettle, because it looks cool, okay? So let's open it up. Alright, I'm not a coffee person at all, I think coffee is nasty, unless it's literally, unless it's from Starbucks. But I don't like to go and spend money at Starbucks, so I don't really just drink coffee. I drink tea though, I love tea. So, I got this kettle, I thought it was cool, and hopefully it is cool. So let's look at it. It is called the Dezen Electric Kettle, and this is what it looks like. Wow, honestly, I should keep this in my room and make my tea, my nightly teas a fan. Look at him! It's so cute! This is it, guys. This is the kettle. I bought it just to make tea fancily. So basically, you put hot water in it, you place it on this thing, you put this down, and it warms up, and when it's done, that'll lift up. You take it off, and you pour your coffee and your tea, and I think it's sick, okay? I think it's cool. So this is my personal kettle that I'm gonna keep upstairs. I'm definitely gonna test it out. Don't worry, you guys will get the in-depth review. All right, who the next thing? Okay, so this next thing I got from Amazon, I didn't really get it off TikTok, but I did order it from Amazon um, around like the same stuff. So I'm just gonna open it for you guys on camera, cause why not? But here's the backstory behind this. So I recently ordered this pair of sneakers. These are a ASAP Rocky and Under Armour sneaker collab. I thought these sneakers were absolutely sick when I first laid my eyes on them. They have a fat tongue. They look like a skater shoe. And if you guys don't know already, I collect tons of different sneakers, mostly Jordans, but I'm trying to expand my collection to not only Jordans, but other cool, sick sneakers. So I picked up these and I think they're actually like really cool. So when I was doing my research though, behind the sneaker, I discovered that the sneaker was heavily inspired by a 2002 or three Osiris sneaker called the Osiris D3. It's a skater shoe. And I thought that was cool. I love learning about different things. So I thought that was something cool to learn. So I figured I was gonna buy the Osiris D3 because I already had the ASAP Rocky version, which of course, if you make a sneaker put ASAP Rocky's name on, it's gonna be expensive. So the Osiris D3 was a lot cheaper than my AUG X SRLO Under Armour sneakers. But let's just take a look. I, I ordered them off of Amazon and they're here. I am kind of becoming more of a person where name, brand, kind of things, like, doesn't really matter to me. As long as it's dope looking, I can rock with it. So, I thought the sneaker was sickening. I thought it looked awesome. I think it feels amazing on foot as well. So when I heard that this was heavily, heavily, heavily inspired, almost to the point where like the Osiris company kind of felt some kind of way because kind of copy and pasted their sneaker. And now it's like selling for like three times more than they're selling their sneakers for. So yeah, I thought that was pretty interesting. So I bought the pair and this is my first ever look at it. And I'm actually really excited because if I put it, send a new sneaker to add to my collection. So, wow, I can 100% see the resemblance. Look at that. So this is the Osiris pair. Wow, wow. The, 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 the tongue is just as chunky. Wow. Ooh, it's a lot heavier. Okay, so these are the two sneakers. Some would argue that this is the same sneaker, which I wouldn't blame them if they were to make the argument. They're quite similar, like 
quite, quite similar. I would have no problem rocking these over these. They look exactly the same. I just so happen to learn about these first, but this is literally the same shoe, almost, pretty much. I definitely see the copy and paste in it. <laughs> but yeah, so I ordered them. I think they're cool. I don't know how people skateboard in these because they're like literally so heavy. I guess we'll try it out. They might just be great to skate in. Who knows? I'm not the best skater, but these are cool. They look awesome. So yeah, <laughs> got these from Amazon. I, I don't know what to rate them yet. Uh, yeah. They weren't really a part of the video. I just kind of threw them in there. But tell me what you think. Do you like the sneaker? Do you think, you think they're copy and paste? Do you think they're a ripoff? Do you think, I don't know, I'm curious, what do you think? All right, so the next thing that I got from Amazon that I'm pretty excited about is this. It says, what the shape? I don't know why it says that, but this is a sneaker candle. And wait till you see what sneaker it is. You guys know, like I was saying, I love sneakers and I love candles. And in my room, one thing you will see very many of is sneakers and candles. So what did I do? I bought a sneaker candle. Now look at this. Oh my gosh, it's the Air Force One. It's literally an Air Force One. Do you see this right now? I can never light this. I'm gonna light it right now, but look. This is literally an Air Force One sneaker candle. It's awesome. Okay, I wish I didn't get an Air Force One because it's so white and it just looks like detailless, but trust me, there's detail. It's the whole sneaker. That's kind of sick. Like, let's light it with my new lighter. Wow. Okay, here it is. The candle sneaker. That's cool. I'm not gonna lie, I like it. Uh, it doesn't smell like anything, and I don't think it's meant to actually be burnt, but I just burnt it anyway. But I will rate this a, this actually doesn't have a scent, unlike the Lucky Charms candle, which smells just like Lucky Charms, so good. This has no scent, <laughs> which kind of sucks. But I don't actually think it's for lighting. I think it's just for looking. But I do think it is very, very cool. I'm definitely gonna put it in my room. If I don't like light it, it'll be on a shelf because it's kind of really, really cool. It matches kind of the whole vibe in my room. So I give it a four out of five because it doesn't smell like anything. Which that's the whole point of candles. They're supposed to smell like something good. They could have made it smell like something. So I give it a four out of five, but it's a cool candle and it's Air Force One. Last but not least, somebody needs to literally stop me from ordering stuff online. Oh my God. This is what I bought. <laughs> It's a fridge. So you guys know those like bathroom fridges? They're mini fridges, but they're for your bathroom and your products. So I was like on TikTok and I saw this mother restocking her daughter's mini fridge. And I was like, my mini fridge does not fit that much stuff in it. And then I like looked and this was a bigger mini fridge. What? It was cool. So I ordered it. Oh, TikTok made me buy it. Let's just open it because I don't regret it. I'm going to put this in my room. Thank you, TikTok, for once again making me spend money. But this was very affordable. All right, so this is the 20 liter mini fridge. It's not a whole fridge, but it's not a mini fridge. So it's like perfect for just like small snacks and a few drinks. <laughs> By a few, I mean... Like a 12 set. I'm actually excited to put this in my room. My sister put a whole entire fridge in my room, so that really made me want a fridge in my room because I am that little sibling. Look at that! See, that's exactly what it's gonna look like. You can just put snacks in there. It's perfect. I just have my own arsenal of snacks. So here it is, the 20 liter fridge. Okay, this thing, first of all, it's not heavy at all, which is great. Second of all, wow, look at all the storage. All right, so it's literally just a bigger version of like the mini fridge for your makeup. And then I'm pretty sure you can even control the exact temperature. And then on top of that, I think it could be hot. Like I think it could be warm and cold, which is cool. But in order to really test it out, we gotta see what snacks we can fit in here, set it all up and put it to use, baby. I'm really excited about this. I like that it's black. Let's set it up. Alright you guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I personally love the Amazon series. If you guys want me to keep going with these videos and keep ordering gadgets from Amazon, then please let me know in the comments below or what videos you want to see next. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Give it a big thumbs up, hit that post notification bell, hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys later.